Behind me is one of the biggest arcades in the entire world. Today I'm gonna be locked inside and I cannot leave until I win a Nintendo Switch. So the Nintendo Switch costs 120,000 tickets. So far, we have zero tickets. So the place closes in exactly 12 hours. Let's play some arcade games. So I gave Steve one of our many Dave & Buster's cards, and then we split up to start earning our first tickets. Steve could have been a professional baseball player if it wasn't for his bum knee, and also for his overall lack of talent. Anyway, the first game he decided to play was Hyper Pitch. In the meantime, I walked around the arcade trying a bunch of different games to see which one earned the most tickets. Within minutes, everything started going to plan. Yes, I did struggle in some of the games. But after that, I started winning thousands of tickets on the giant spin wheel. And even though Steve probably couldn't have gone pro in baseball, clearly Hyper Pitch was his game. He started winning jackpot after jackpot. Hey! 4,000! We're gonna have this switch in no time. Then the unimaginable happened. Steve, who was dominating a game that was clearly made for 10 year olds, injured his arm and his hyper pitch days were done. I tried to fill in for Steve and take his place, but let's just say baseball was never my sport. For the next hour, we went ice cold. Games that I was once winning thousands, I was winning 10 and 20 tickets. And Steve was trying to find his way in the arcade without hyper pitch. So we have about 12,500 tickets, which means we're only 108,000 tickets away. 12,000 tickets wasn't bad if we wanted a decent prize, but we wanted a Switch. So for the next hour, we decided to team up and play games together, hoping to get more tickets like that. So we've been here for two and a half hours. I am exhausted. We're not even close to halfway done. I'm Steve. You're Steve. I have a secret weapon though. The guy behind the camera, Bruce, happens to be extremely good at arcade games. Mm -hmm. Bruce, it's your turn. Bruce was an absolute legend, winning jackpot after jackpot, bringing in thousands upon thousands of tickets. Steve, on the other hand. Steve, what are you doing? I'm gonna win a duck. You don't even win any tickets from this game. Bless you. Thank you. We've been here for three hours. We have 28,000 tickets. Steve is sneezing. Are you all right? All right, we still have a long way to go. I'm hungry, we're gonna get some lunch, and then we'll come back. What was that? Where'd you get this? I bought it with the tickets. We're saving up for the Switch. You Good. use your tickets on this? After lunch, we decided to change our strategy. Instead of trying to win jackpots, we tried to just play as many games as possible. After about seven hours, we found ourselves halfway done at 60,000 tickets. But then our secret weapon, Bruce, had to go home to take care of his kid. I still don't think that was a great excuse for him to leave, but I guess children are maybe a little bit more important than arcade games. With about three hours left until the arcade closed, we found ourselves way behind pace, so we knew we had to find a way to win a lot of tickets a lot faster. I think I figured out a little cheat code. Okay. So if you scan your card on this machine, but you're not there in enough time, it will spin itself. Like, watch this. I set it up, and it starts spinning. So if we load an entire card on this machine and then walk away and play a bunch of other games, it should play for us and earn tickets. Pretty sneaky, sis. You load up that machine, I'm gonna load up this machine, and then we're gonna go focus on other things. Hopefully this works. 
70. So we set up my GoPro and just walked away. This was the funniest part looking back at the footage. The wheel was just spinning on its own. People even came over and got really excited because they could play the game for free. This one kid was so fired up, he started dancing. Yeah, actually, pretty well. And the whole time, we were getting tickets for it. We've been here for 10 hours. The place closes in two hours, but we're less than 10,000 tickets away. We're gonna get this Nintendo Switch. These last couple hours were by far the hardest of the day. Our ankles were sore, our knees were sore, we were tired, we had a headache from staring at the games all day. But at this point, we were so close, we knew we had to keep going. So we have literally been here all day. We're only a hundred tickets away from being able to unlock the Switch. We've done this together. I say we finish together with a game that we play together. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. After spending the entire day in that arcade, we knew there was only one game left to be played, and that was a one-on-one -on -one battle in Hungry Hungry Hippos. Let's go get that switch. So with our prize, can we get one Nintendo Switch, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here for close to 12 hours and we got a Nintendo Switch, but here's the twist. I already have a Nintendo Switch. Steve's not much of a video game player. There was this kid that was a huge fan of our channel, ran up to us earlier. We're gonna try to find that kid, give him a brand new Nintendo Switch if we could find him. We literally searched around that arcade for like 45 minutes and just when we thought he left and we were about to give up, <laughs> 